Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. Today I'm going to take you through a, a typical day in my life. Hey guys, welcome back. I'd like to ask that if you enjoy our content here on the Prescott Caliber Club, please share our videos to your social media pages, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notifications bell icon. That'll help us gain a lot of traction here on social media. So today I decided I wanted to do a kind of raw video on my life. Um, there's a lot of you who may watch the channel who wonder, you know, who I am, where I am, and and what I do, how I do it, and all of that kind of stuff. And so that's kind of what I wanted to take you through and do today. So um, when I woke up this morning, the idea just kind of hit me. That's kind of something that happens to me a lot. It percolates in the morning and uh, ideas pop up. I'm kind of an idea machine when it comes to silly, goofy, fun, funny stuff. So um, I figured this would be kind of a neat video, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm, uh, I'm just waking up. It's about 9.45. I've actually been up for about uh, a half hour. Um, but I usually go to bed around 2 or 3 in the morning. I'm a very late night guy. Um, I like to do that. I've always liked to do that because I can be alone. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to be worried about you know any, dealing with anything. I can get done what I need to get done. So I've always been a late night guy. I, I go to bed late. I sleep for seven hours or so and I, and I wake up and then I just get rolling with my day. So I'm gonna take you through a typical day in my life. Let's get to it. First thing is first, when I wake up, I always have these two meatheads here with me. This is Sparky. Sparky's a Shih Tzu. He's a purebred, blue, papered Shih Tzu. He's, he's actually a very pretty dog. He's a nice guy. He's a little nervous. But he, um, as soon as I got him, I had him neutered and everybody freaked out because he's like a $2,000 breeding Shih Tzu. Um, this is Molly. Molly. Hi. Molly is a pit bull mix. Um, they're both around 10 years old and they're my pups. So I, got, I usually get up, I let them out. Nightstand. Always carry, right, Will? You guys wanna go outside, go potty, come on. Alright, outside of our door, this is the view. We always have an absolutely beautiful, amazing view here. Here we are, here's the house. We have a beautiful home. Uh, we live out in Coyote Springs, which is nice. When you live in the country, you get a lot more bang for your buck. I mean, this is a lot of bang, but you get what I'm saying. Our house is amazing. Knox destroys it constantly. Uh, you know what we got here? This is my office. So I have a home office. I have also a workshop that's always locked because I do keep loaded firearms and things like that. Josephus. Josephus is a conyor. He is a pretty cool dude. Come here, baby. Come on. He's a good boy, that Josephus. And this is where most of the magic happens here, guys. This is uh, my office. I dropped that on the ground twice in the last two days. I'm not happy about that. My saw, my 50. New French MAS. And then, of course, One American News is always playing. I have a funny joke that Bocephus is the most um, informed, politically informed being in America because he watches One American News. Every morning when I get up, I don't drink coffee. I like to drink diet soda. So I run out to my workshop where I have my fridges and all that stuff set up, and I always pick out a couple. Diet Mountain Dews and have those in the morning. So come on, let's go get it. It's our dune buggy. I'm gonna be installing an EMP shield into that. And of course the workshop, you guys wanna see the code? Negative. Trail Boss, Harley. The Ice Co. from the review videos. And of course, the workshop bridge. I just loaded this up the other day. It doesn't always look like this. We usually drink some of it, but. Um, 
That's it. If I get cancer, that's what gave it to me, guys. There is, um, it's about a year of long-term food storage for my family, um, probably closer to a year and a half. Um, I have another year's worth of freeze-dried coming today, and I'll explain to you guys why. I have a Harvest Right freeze-dryer, um, and I'm gonna start freeze-drying my own food, and that's how I'm gonna get myself up to maybe 10 years of, of food storage at some point, but I'm very worried with the, uh, with the state of things around here, and um, I'm just worried, people. I didn't think I had time to freeze-dry, so I bought some. A lot of you may be wondering, you know, where I come from, what I, how I got here. Um, as you can see, as you guys have, I'm sure, noticed everywhere that, you know, I'm not poor, I'm not um, struggling financially, and I kind of wanted to just address that head on. I didn't want to walk around and have everybody wondering what's going on, where did he get this, and I'm going to do this in this state, which is completely raw first thing in the morning. Um, so... I actually come from semi-humble beginnings. We were middle class, but uh, we didn't spend a lot of money. We were frugal. My, uh, my dad is a penny pension dude, and we didn't spend money. So I'm used to not, not going out and having frivolous, you know, crazy things. And as I got older, um, I ended up getting myself into a situation where I was able to invest mostly my time and a little bit of money into an idea which was a startup healthcare facility and we did that and we started up a healthcare facility and we helped a lot of people um, we also uh, we also made a lot of money doing it and that was a good thing that's capitalism that's America and we did that and uh, and I made good money and I got out of that industry and I wanted to do something with my life that didn't involve me um, I don't want to say being miserable because that's not the right word, but I wanted to do stuff that I enjoy. And so, you know what I enjoy? This. This is what I enjoy. Outdoor, country life, living, loving life, respecting the world and all of that. And that's, that's kind of who I am and what I do and that's where I come from. So, I wanted to be straight up honest and upfront with you guys. That's, that's how things happened in my life. Now, um, I was doing a video the other day and Magic Prepper commented, and he actually made me crack up laughing because it was hilarious. He said, is that a freaking airplane in your driveway, bro? So I thought I'd show you guys the RV, and maybe today, actually, I might take and, uh, and replace the leaf springs with you guys. I have a leaf spring that I need to replace on that, and I have an event that I'm going to soon. So I may go do that with you guys today. I don't know, but I'll go out and show you the RV right now. Let's go take a look. 2014 Dutchman Voltage. Automated safety hitch so I can pull it behind the F650. And there it is, 42 feet long. 20,000 pounds loaded up. It's no joke. Here we are inside the RV. Um, we bought this RV because we, do a, we did a lot of traveling. Um, this is our bedroom. You know, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. We bought it a couple years old and it was half price of a new one. We're sleeping up here. Bathroom one, television, kitchen, fun. Full fridge, freezers, duals, pantry. Bathroom number two, pantry, and then like I said, back here, up top is sleeping, and down here is a whole other room with the garage. Up there are bunk beds, double roll down, queen size bunk beds, television, access outside, back porch, windows, access to the bathroom, the whole nine. This RV is really packed out. We didn't buy this vehicle as like a bug out vehicle or anything like that. We didn't buy this RV for that. We do a lot of traveling. We do a lot of four wheeling. We go to Glamis every year. We go um, to the river in Yuma and do some, some vacationing there. So that actually just made sense financially. Instead of spending money on hotels, instead of um, doing those types of things, what we actually do is buy this and it don't stay in hotels anymore. And so that's usually what we do when we go to Vegas. We don't stay in hotels. Um, 
we even go down to Louisiana um, every couple of years maybe and pull this thing down there and stay for a few weeks. So, um, you know, it's more than just a, a luxury vehicle. We do use it quite a bit. I don't know how many miles. I probably put, you know, 15,000, 20,000 miles on this already. Um, dragging it all over the country, but we love it. We get to where we're at and we have our house. We, you know, before we leave, we just go into the house and unpack, you know, take clothes out of our closet, put them in our closets here, move our toiletries over food in the fridge and roll so it's pretty pretty darn cool let's get back into the house and get something done yeah it's garbage day tomorrow so i don't know if you guys noticed there but i put a couple of big boulders up on the garbage cans just because we always have wind and the birds get in it now i always keep an aed charged up rock and i also keep a rapid oxygen system here just in case anything ever pops off and we need oxygen All right, guys, so we are back. And usually the first thing that I get into when I wake up is I check all my social media accounts. I check my um, email and all those types of things. So let's see what we got going here. Emails today, first thing in the morning. That's what I'm dealing with, guys. Quite a bit of junk mail in there today, but we also have a folder of junk mail I gotta sort through. Social media, that's Knox, always watching golf. A uh, bunch of notifications, Instagram, I don't even know, I got a post yet here today. Uh, but we got some notifications there, one new follower, yay, who is it? We'll shout him out. Where is he? There he is, Kyle, my dude Kyle. He's just getting going, he's getting back into photography. Uh, Facebook, what do we got? Three notifications and uh, three messages and 11 notifications. Uh-oh, Ryan Dolan, that guy's trouble. If you need a realtor in the Prescott area, give that guy a call. Let's see what Knox was watching last. Oh, of course, trick shots. Golf trick shots, that's what that kid's always watching. So, that's what Knox is watching. Anyway, I'm gonna get to my social media, so I'll book jump back in with you guys in a few minutes here. That's me. I need to do something a little bit there. So, let's, uh, let's just get to it. I usually get up, I shower, and I get rolling, so you're gonna join me. What you're looking at here is a one year supply for four people at 2,000 calories a day of freeze dried food. This thing weighed 1,250 pounds. And, um, you know, I have a freeze dryer and I'm going to be freeze drying my own food here pretty soon, um, getting ready to, uh, you know, work my way up to maybe five years, 10 years of, of freeze dried food. But um, I'm really concerned that we don't have time, that we don't have time to be freeze drying before we're gonna need to use some of these supplies for, for an emergency situation. There's a lot going on around the globe right now. There's a lot going on um, here on our soil. If you uh, look at certain sources, um, it does appear it does appear that they are, are preparing for um, something, something to happen here on our mainland. And, and I'm very, very, very concerned about that. And that's what prompted this purchase. 
Um, I do, like I said, I do have my freeze dryer and I'm going to be freeze dried and adding to that. So if I'm wrong, that's fine. I've got the food and, uh, and I'll keep adding to it. But I thought it was, uh, it was dire that, that I get this here for my family. So I'm going to go get this put away in the garage. Um, like I said, I'm up to about two years of food for my family. Um, probably technically a bit more than that. But um, you guys can uh, just hang out and watch me put all this away. This is my long-term food storage right here. These are all Patriot Pantry um, three-month food supplies. They come in fours. I've got some survival shots. I don't know, just a few things I was playing with. Uh, masks, stuff like that. Um, hot chick on the rinse kit box. And this is my Augustin Farms um, setup. You know, you can see that's too deep. And then here's the rest of the Patriot Pantry stuff, and I have some MREs. Alright guys, so the most important thing in this entire workshop is right here, and that is Noxy Boy's workbench. Um, there's a place in my heart for, for our youth, for our little kids, and um, when it comes to my kid, when it comes to my boy, I think that it's absolutely detrimental and important for him to be able to... I don't know, walk through life kind of kind of mimicking adults. I don't mean that we should even have any expectations on him. All I'm saying is that I think we take our children and we give them little kid games and little kid toys and we teach them to be little kids and what we need to be doing is, is teaching them to be, um, you know, is, is teaching them things that are going to make them a solid, productive, happy, healthy adult human being not how to be a little baby. So I try to give my kid as much stuff as I can within you know, the realms of being safe and still offer him um, you know, a, a good experience. This little boy, he thinks he can work on Harley Davidson's and build houses and all this stuff. He has confidence, um, he has curiosity, he has ingenuity, he has excitement, he has all of these things. And I think it's one of the most important things um, in a little boy's life is to feel like he's going to be a man someday. So that's what this is all about. This is Noxie Boy's workbench. And as you can see, um, he does a lot on it. You know, he does a lot of pencil drawing and stuff like that. We had some basil out we were it around with one day. Um, he's got his Nathan's knife and his little pistol and his hammer. And, and he does all kinds of work on this workbench. And then every once in a while, he comes over to the Harley and daddy has to yell at him and say, no! So guys, that's my long-term food storage. Yes guys, I do wear Crocs around the house if anybody was wondering. One thing to be careful of, when you wear these out, they get slicker than hell and you'll end up on your butt. All right guys, so we're gonna have lunch. That's what the PCC pantry looks like. Lots of food. This is actually rare for me to have lunch. I usually don't eat lunch, I eat dinner. The problem with eating lunch is I'm like a little boy and I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop what I'm doing. There's too much to do in life to stop and eat lunch. All right guys, lunch is done. Let's get back to it. Guys, we are back. I've been out in the workshop working for a couple of hours here. I actually did some editing on this video that you're watching. I answered a bunch of social media stuff. I got a few things done and my phone's buzzing in my pocket and you can hear that going right now. 
Um, so there's always stuff going on, stuff coming in, but I think I, I've gotten to a point where I can stop. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go work on the, um, the leaf spring on the trailer. So the, the uh, 2014 Dutchman Voltage actually has a ton of trouble at breaking leaf springs. And part of the problem I think is it's a triple axle. I would never get another triple axle. Um, it's expensive to convert it you know, to a double axle that's heavy enough. So what I'm kind of thinking about doing here is actually just carrying leaf springs around and that's what I've been doing for the past year or so. They're like $70, you get them every so often you pop one on. You blow so many tires running big trailers like this anyway, that's not a huge cost to spend $70 every few months on a leaf spring. So I've actually gotten to the point now where I can change it on the side of the road. It's not a big deal. I just carry my DeWalt drill, the high impact bits, uh, the appropriate sizes, and you just pull over on the side of the road. The camper has a really nice hydraulic system which can actually lift all, all the tires off the ground at once. So it makes it pretty easy on the side of the road to do something like this. So I'm gonna get to it. I don't wanna waste a bunch of time talking. I'm sure this video is getting long so you guys don't wanna spend a bunch of time listening to me tell the story. But I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna change the leaf spring on the trailer, I'm gonna put the spare back on, and then that's all set, and I'm ready to go to Red October at the Pro Gun Club, uh, which I am extremely excited for. I'm gonna be able to bring my trailer, hang out uh, for the whole weekend. It's gonna be a blast. So let's get to it. I'm gonna go change the leaf spring on the trailer. I'll bring you guys with. You can see the whole thing, um, the whole process of, of changing that out. I'll show you where it's busted. I'll show you where I had trouble um, and, and how to fix that. So let's get to it. So guys, that's a typical day in the life of Prescott Caliber Club. Noxy Boy is home. Say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> okay. Noxy Boy is home, so it's time for me to put my dad hat on um, and get to playing. No, no, buddy. Not on there. Um, to put my dad hat on and get to playing. So I hope that until next week, you guys stay safe and keep prepping.